let Robert Michael Latona, who is to be ordained a priest, come forward. Relying on the help of the Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ, we choose Robert Michael Latona, our brother, for the order of the priesthood. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me thus. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. A prophet to the nations, I appointed you. Ah, Lord God, I said, I do not know how to speak. I am too young. But the Lord answered me, Say not, I am too young. To whomever I send you, you shall go. Whatever I command you, you shall speak. Have no fear before them, because I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord extended his hand and touched my mouth, saying, See, I place my words in your mouth. A number of years ago, some social scientists tried to establish a model for the priesthood. Some use the business model claiming organization as the basis for priestly life. There was something sterile about this view. Another offered a model of the poet artist, a person who envisions, who helps those who come into contact to see the greater picture of life. A much more intriguing model, but still very impractical. Still another model was that of the social worker. Certainly this is attractive to our social consciences, yet this is also empty when it is seen as satisfying only the material as an ultimate goal and measure of success. What seemed to be missing is the person of Christ. Robert, you are being ordained today not to fit into some type of model, but you are being ordained to reflect the person of Christ for the community of his church. The priests of the Diocese of La Crosse have welcomed you, challenged you, and encouraged you. And in this year of the priests declared by Benedict XVI, it allows us all as a diocese to reflect on this great gift of priesthood given to our church through the response of the men serving the Diocese of La Crosse. Robert, there will be struggles and challenges in your priesthood. Jesus himself was persecuted. He fell under the weight of the cross three times, but he lifted himself up and continued his mission. He did so in love. Don't never be discouraged by the obstacles that the world may place before you. For the Lord walks with you in this life, and obeying his commandment, he will make you his friend. It is not about you, Robert, it is about him and his love. Therefore, you are not alone. Remember, I no longer call you servant, but friend. In your own reflection, Robert, as a young child, you said, the priest was the happiest man I ever met. My prayer is that you realize the happiness that every priest experiences through the celebration of the Eucharist, in the proclamation of the scriptures, in the administration of the sacraments, in the intimacy of your prayerful life and of your concern for the poor. You will be a priest who lives in love and you will bear much fruit, fruit that will last. Then, Robert, the Father will give you whatever you ask in Jesus' name, for this is his commandment to you, O priest of God love one another.